another beautiful scene. A little bit noisy in the background because we're right near the main A82. But this is Loch Lomond and Ben Lomond. Lovely day. Didn't know what it was going to be like, but we're going to take a little chance here. We're going to go right up the windy road, right high up into Glen Douglas, my favourite Glen. So, once again I say, come on, let's get on the bike and go. Before we do actually take off on the bike, I'll just give you a pan up and across Loch Lomond. That's Ben Lomond, the highest mountain in the area. Right, and where we're actually going is up there. We're going right up there, there's a little narrow road goes through the trees and goes up into um, Glen Douglas. My favourite Glen. This is the entry road to Glen Douglas. It looks nice and flat here, but we do an actual U-bend and then we climb right the way up into the Glen. So we'll give you another shot when we get round the U-bend and start going up the steep bit. Shan't be pedalling up there, by the way. Just try to give you some idea that's where I spoke to you from in the last shot and you can see how high we've climbed just come round the U-bend and uh, the road continues up there it says road liable to icing but I don't think we'll get any today What I like about the peace and tranquility in the glens is that everywhere you go you can hear little trickles of water, bigger rushing waterfalls, although there's none that I know of in this particular glen, not big waterfalls, there's water trickling and rushing everywhere. Getting towards the top now of this climb up. It's just uh, you bend one way, you bend another way. <laughs> In fact it makes you puff pushing your bike up here. be a lot easier going down won't it? And the sky looks pretty good. There we are. Quite a climb. Once again, just to demonstrate the water, this is running down the side of the road. And it's all seeping out of the hillside, out of these grassy banks. There's all water seeping out from the overnight rain, all gradually draining down and running down these little streams into Loch Lomond. Out the southern end of Loch Lomond, and down the River Leven, into the River Clyde and out to sea. Isn't nature wonderful? You might get a little bit of uh, wind noise on the camera microphone, but this is just to show I haven't, I've come about, what, three quarters of a mile, if that, and you can see where we were filming from, over Loch Lomond, where we were, right down on the banks of Loch Lomond, and within, what, 15 minutes of walking, here we are right high up in the Glen. Lovely isn't it, <laughs> Now what you do not get up here in Glen Douglas is tourists. You don't get coaches, minibuses, caravans, nothing like that. Just silly old men on bicycles. <laughs> Although I must admit, nearly every time I've been to Scotland, which is going uphill to 40 times, I always come up in the Glen here. 
my favourite glen. Well, it's been up all, uphill all the way so far, but now we've got a little downhill bit. I thought uh, we might have a little bit of bicycle riding. See what you think. Of course, the road's very bumpy in parts, but it is very nice. Very, very nice. I love it up here. <laughs> so natural, isn't it? Got a nice downhill section here, but remember, I've got to come back up here when we decide to turn round and go back. Well that's your, that's your little biking bit, I think. A complete sweep here of what I can see from where I'm standing. He's waiting for me to approach him, he is. And when I do get near, he'll do a runner. He will. I don't know, he's going walk about now. There's two there, look. You and you. <laughs> We're just two miles into the Glen. Another sweeping view for you. The river's just down there. I'm hoping to get down by the side of the river. There's a place that I know of just down the road where you can sort of uh, <laughs> half walk and half paddle through a bit of a swampy grassy area to get down there and this road actually although it's just really a farm type road links the main A82 which runs from Glasgow up to Oban and Fort William it links it with the uh, Dumbarton Aracar road but like I said before, you get 
virtually no traffic across here at all. Well, I don't know what you think, but uh, I think this has been a lovely little journey along part of Glen Douglas. It's a lovely scene here with all the water. Um, total peace. I think I've seen five cars all the time I've been up here. So once again, I say I hope you've enjoyed it too, and that you'll come again. Sure you will, won't you? Bye.